Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back to Ijebu, whose name is Olata Yamokade, with his beautiful lover in Okena and Kogi State. The wedding ceremony took place at the bride's hometown in Okena, and Olata Yamokade has taken to his social media platform to share lovely video and photos of himself and his wife. Both of them are dressed in elegant traditional wedding outfits and white wedding outfits. This groom is best known for his comic roles in Yoruba movies. Having been introduced into acting, Shumu Iwa at Demola Authentic School of Drama. Olata Yamokade is popularly known as Ijebu. Apart from being a Yoruba comic actor, he's also a movie producer. She so saying congratulations to this Yoruba actor. We is Tayo Yamokade. He also worked as a personal assistant for another comic actor, Olani Afonja, aka Sonyeri, before he came into the limelight to the film Muniru Atiambali, produced by Taya Mokad himself and written by Sonyeri, marketed by Adekas Productions. Ever since then, he has been a sensation to watch, most especially for his movies like Oremeta Wiyuko and Jujugunu, among others. He was also born in Elishoy, in Uremo, Ogun State. And he obtained a national diploma in mass communication at Ibadan Polytechnic. As mentioned earlier, he's a popular comic Yoruba actor. Even though now he might be enjoying fame, but his journey has not been devoid of challenges. In an interview with Tata the Beats, this comic actor recalled some of the challenges he encountered when he started out as an actor. And he said, I faced different challenges when I first got into the industry. On the other hand, I won't really call them challenges because one needs to undergo some form of training. When I was in Ibadan, I trained at the Authentic School of Drama, owned by actor and filmmaker Muiwa Demola. I trained under him for seven years. He trained me on camera movements, facing the camera and other things. The training helped me a lot. One of the challenges I faced was having to buy food for people that I knew I was older than, just because they got into the industry before me. I said on my Instagram live video recently that anybody coming to the industry has to be patient, focused and prayerful. One could spend 10 years in the industry without succeeding. And one may spend only six months, and people would like you. You also need to be humble. Also, on his relationship with female friends, this Ogun State born actor said, It is good to marry a wife that was destined for one. My wife supports me a lot. Whenever I tell her I'm going on set, she knows that I will be on movie locations. On my videos, fans tell me they love me, and different people say they want to know me better. I cannot fight them, they are my female friends. At the end of the day, I can become good friends with them and also advise them. It's not compulsory I have affairs with them. It can still be it can still be of help to one another in the future. He also revealed in an interview that when he was growing up, his parents actually didn't use to speak the Jebu dialect to him. His brothers used to urge his parents to train him with prayer Yoruba. But when God said it was time, he had to start calling some of his friends who spoke the language very well. His father also tutored him on how to speak the dialect very well. When he was asked if people actually take him seriously in real life, because of his comic rules, well, he said that being a comic actor is just part of him. It is within him. He's a woman, just like every other person. There's always time for seriousness and time for play. Also, this actor was unveiled as an ambassador for Lagos State Waste Management Authority recently. And he said he felt great with this new position. In his words, I feel great and also challenged. I've been to different countries and see how waste is effectively managed. I believe this collaboration with Sloma will give me wings to impact positively and be effective with my creativity. I'm ready for the task. He also noted that though some actors find it uncomfortable kissing in movies, but if kissing in a movie will help him pass a positive message, he will do it. This was in an interview with Saturday Beats. This comic actor said that acting is my profession. If passing a positive and reasonable message will come through me kissing, then I'll definitely do it. It is called acting, he said. Also in 2018, another tragic news in the industry was averted when the Yoruba comic actor, which was planning known as Ijebu, celebrated and shared the news of how he survived a near fire incident which erupted in his hotel room due to possible power surge that led to the air condition burning in flames. Sharing the good news, this actor was filled with thanksgiving for God sparing his life as the room was totally messed up. And he said, just escape death now. Glory be to God Almighty for saving my life. I will not die but live and declare the work of God. Thank you, Jesus. Also, after a popular Yoruba actress slammed her colleagues always sharing news of their new cars and houses on social media platforms, Olata Yamokade shared the news of his car on social media platform. Speaking with Sunday School, 
this actor shared that the news of his car was shared with the public so that they can know what God has done in his life. He said, the entertainment industry is all about showcasing, though most don't have things they share online. They just do that to brand themselves. Though you cannot go to my Instagram page and see things about my family there. I like to share pictures of my clothes or things I do. To me, it is a way of appreciating God and showing the world the goodness of God in my life. Also, on the issue of the actors complaining that there is no money in the movie industry. Well, Ijeva explained that he cannot speak for everyone, but God has been blessing him. Apart from acting, he's also a master of ceremonies. If you host a program, he gets between $300,000 to $400,000. And according to Jebu, if he gets such a job four times in a month and travel to host such events, he'll be able to get a car even within a month. And he also added that acting has actually been very lucrative over the years. If the elderly ones in the industry like Prince Jideko Soko, Adibaya Salami, call him for a job, he does not even need to tell them this is the exact fee that he charges because they know his words. In his words, if I call them to, I know their words. And if a new producer calls me, we would discuss and agree on terms. If I'm okay with it, I will take the job. I've been using the money I get from acting to feed my family members, he said. It was also in 2017 that Ijebu shared lovely photos of his parents, his aged parents, who never got divorced. Also, there is nothing that gives a man the desired happiness than looking back at his parents and seeing how happy they are. Just like this actor, Olata Yamokadi. This actor is one of the most hardworking celebrities in the country but has not allowed that to keep him away from his parents, as he used to create a lot of time to ensure that he pays them a visit and check on their health. Some years before he lost his father, Ijebu shared a picture of his aged parents looking happy together, which goes to show that during their own time, there was something called true love and not love for material things. And with this true love that his parents had for each other, they were able to stay happy and enjoy the little God gave them and also the little that their son was able to provide for them. Ijebu then shared a lovely photo of himself with them on his social media platform. But he sadly lost his father last year and noted that he misses his advice. He usually advised Ijebu whenever he visits him and he used to recite his praise poetry, Uriki. So once again, we are saying congratulations to Ijebu Omatai Amokade. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let us know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.